Hello, my name is Kevin Wu. I'm Associate Professor at Queen's University in Canada here. Today I'm going to talk to you about skin tears and treatment of skin tears. And I'm very excited to tell you about a new study that we have just completed. We're actually surprised to see there's not a lot of evidence to inform us the best way to treat skin tears. And that's the impetus for us to look at an evaluation study. The purpose study study is to evaluate the effectiveness of using comparing silicone versus non-silicone dressing for the treatment of skin tears. This is a randomized controlled design study. We randomized individuals to two groups. One is using silicone dressings. The other group, the control group, is randomized to use a non-adherent, non-adherent, non-silicone-based dressings. The setting is in uh, Ottawa and Toronto. We recruited individuals from long-term care facilities and also a rehab complex continuing care facility in Toronto. We um, look at individuals. Uh, we planned this study for three weeks, um, and this is the duration of time that usually most of the skin tears will be able to achieve complete closure. We decide that, well, if skin tears cannot heal by three weeks, then there's some underlying pathology that may explain why wounds become chronic. So they should be really be excluded from the evaluation. At the end of the, 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 this, the recruitment, uh, the study, we actually have 126 individuals making a very big randomized control trial. We have 65 individuals randomized into the treatment group using silicone dressings. 61 individuals randomized into the control group using a non-silicone, non-adherent dressing. Now the exciting part about the results. In week one, when we look at the number of, of wounds, skin tears, that were healed. About 31 of the, the, uh, the skin tears were able to achieve complete closure. In other words, about 48% of the, of the skin tears were healed. Versus what we see in the control group, only about six of the individuals of the wounds of the skin tears achieved complete closure. In other, words, in other words, only about 10%. What about the, the healing rate? So we calculated the rate per week. In week one, the healing rate was about 2.9 centimeters square in the treatment group. In comparison, only about 0.6 centimeters square in the control group. By week two, the results are more even more dramatic because we see about 57%, 57 individuals achieve complete closure. In other words, about 80, 80, 88% of individuals achieve closure in the treatment group. In comparison, in the control group, we have 17 individuals achieve closure and only 28% of the individuals are able to have the, the wounds completely closed. So you can see the differences are quite dramatic and uh, the, the the differences were significant. So moving forward, I think the next step is to look at a cost analysis, looking at health economic evaluation to determine how effective this type of treatment using silicon dressing for treatment of skin tears can save dollars, can save time in terms of helping our patients and helping, helping the healthcare system as well. We're also going to be planning on a qualitative study to do a focus group and also interviews with patients who, who have had skin tears before. So stay tuned, hopefully we can come back to talk about the, the results of this study.